All right, it's time for yet another Trondo game. The diamond one on the main account. Which one? So, runes are attack damage, red attack damage, quints, are yellow, magic resistance, voice check two. Scaling! I know. Got it into the voice check right there. And masteries are 9, 21, 0. Now, here's a general gist of Trondo's position right now. He's an amazing jungler when it comes to, you know, clearing, sustain, and all that good stuff. By the way, this enemy is going to survive miraculously thanks to all those, you know, uh, cupcake things. What are they called? Biscuits. There we go. Anyhow, Trundle's sustained. He deals with good damage. He's strong in the early game. and He's a strong invader and all that good stuff. But he's just not even less of a strong pick right now. Sure, he counters some of the most annoying champions, but... God damn, he, do, he doesn't clear as fast, he doesn't farm as fast, even with the new uh, camp. I mean, you can see me here destroy the white camp, but it just doesn't make a damn difference. However, like I said, he utterly crushes champions like Shivana, he crushes champions like Rengar, who built your armor and whatever, and he pretty much melts in Mundo. The only problem is that those guys could just avoid him or, or you know, just ignore him for the most part. It's just his ultimate that does things in. Uh, plus his Q also just, you know, takes if they build pure tank, it just demolishes their early damage or whatever damage they still have remaining. Here you can see Gragas, you know, he gets caught. He tries to escape, but, you know, I have my wall. Here you go. Shivana actually tries to fight me for a little while. Well, actually, not yet then. I maul her as she's forced to go away. She, ba she barely tickled me. And if she turned around to fight back, my bite would have taken off enough AD for her to almost do insignificant amounts of damage. Now, take my wall... I get the wolves, then I go once again to my white camp. My goal right now is to get to level 6 as quickly as possible and engage into team fights or do something. My, Like I said, my ultimate will, as soon as Rengar roars, my ultimate will tear him to pieces. And Shivana as well, she, if she ults, I'll ult her immediately and take all her resistances. If you weren't aware, uh, if you weren't aware, when you use Trundle's ultimate on a uh, target, if whatever. Uh, if they use some kind of armor and magic resistance and health buff and you drain them, you will take it, you'll take a percentage of that based on whatever it is at currently. As in, if uh, like Ram has got himself a hundred arm armor, you'll take uh, armor from him based on that, the, his armor plus that armor buff he just recently got. However, if the uh, Ramus's armor buff goes away, you're still going to be draining him based on the percentage of what he had when he had all that armor. So, if you were to wait to the very last second to use your ultimate on somebody, you'll pretty much you could actually get them into the negatives. You'll start you'll drain them far be far beyond what they normally would have been drained of. So, as you can see, my team is. I'm kind of all over the place here. And there's one thing that Trundle is very good at is screwing over movement-based cha uh, movement based champions. Champions without gap closers just fall parade or Trundle. The Rengar was DC'd and kind of allowed top lane to go back. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, t the game is essentially even still. Uh, the the it's still even. We uh, Nobody has gotten Dragon. Uh, it's just a basic farm fest. Pretty much, I'm going to say that the early game of this game uh, for this one isn't that interesting. However, when team fights happen, you're going to see a lot of, you know, play plays going around. Once again, uh, Nidalee almost gets killed by Gragas. He, uh, me showing up had really no effect except him getting stabbed by a spear. In comes Shivana, just, you know, standing in a clean uh, award. It's becoming a little bit of a ward fight right now. Shivana, of course, will just outpace Trundle in terms of farm. But thankfully, uh, thankfully for me, my com the combined skill set of Trundle destroys her. Trundle is a great counterpick to Shivana, though he does not he may not contribute enough to his team to warrant his pick. Right now, Annie decides to engage in a sivir. I come in and just drop a wall on top of her. There's no way she's gonna survive this, and I just donate the kill over to Annie. And here's, you know, Trundle's godlike tankiness. I already drained the Annie, but, you know, my ultimate just ran out. Still, I have enough bulk health and whatever just to tank the tower while uh, Sivir and Thresh finish uh, the enemy off, the enemy Jinx off. Do so you see? Uh, that is one thing that Trundle's very good at, is not dying. He, this is what makes him one of the best jungles to listen in the game. He is ridiculously slippery, arguably more slippery than Udyr, because depending on how you want to use his abilities. 
earlier he can run all he wants and you know shield a lot of shit with his turtle or Trundle can just uh, flat out block a person's path and force them to use their gap closers and then he can juke those gap closers and they fucking give up they can't do anything with high enough cooldown his wall essentially has a one second cooldown or one second where it's not up you put it up the cooldown will refresh by the time uh by the time the wall goes down, so you'll be able just to constantly fucking spam it. And that was a nice spear by uh, Nidalee and, you know, Sivir picked up the kill, so. And then we mauled this little girl, she did. And now we get ourselves a dragon. So Trundle. Trundle was actually, I believe, the the second pick. The enemy team picked Shivana first, and I decided, you know what, I I want to counter her. I want to not deal with Sh Shivana shenanigans and make her easier to kill. So I picked Trundle for my team. Along with that, the enemy team then decided to play, pick Rengar. And I just, you know what, Trundle fucking destroys both of them when it comes to, you know, may, well, makes them both easy to kill. Rengar will probably lose in a duel to Trundle, at least if a tank Rengar will. While, obviously, Shivana, ten, like, almost every matchup I've had versus Shivana, just Trundle melts her as long as you have the mana. That's usually Trundle's biggest weakness, though. The mana issues and whatever. Here, we, we kind of don't escape in time and Rengar comes in and just cuts us to pieces, so... We lose that team fight, and then Sivir and uh, Nidalee get dunked by the Andy, but they escape. Except, I mean, the Nidalee dies, the Sivir escapes. Thresh is kind of in no man's land right now. So, the game is fairly even, as you can see. The enemy team is about to get another tower and close the gold gap. Uh, close the gold, gold gap a bit more. Thankfully, we have two towers and dragons, so we still have that lead for, uh, for us, as well as two more kills. Farm-wise... Uh, my team has a definitive advantage here, so we got that going for us. Of course, the Shivana has more CS than me, so I gotta pray for the best. With Trundle, you tend to go tankier more than anything else, which is a double-edged sword. You become near unkillable with your tanky items, ridiculously easy as Trundle, but your damage is rather pitiful. You need at least one damage item in order to make them work, and though... She like uh you need one damage item to make him actually do stuff, but even late game he's gonna do almost nothing. He has only one true damage uh ability. While his his ultimate does deal some, you know, damage or I guess drain to somebody's health, it doesn't it doesn't exactly deal with anything it doesn't deal with relying on constant stream of damage. Reliable constant stream of damage. There we go. Uh, mind my English. And here we just kinda fucking got destroyed. Renek is not going to be able to pick up any kill, and it's essentially going to make it even more e uh, a bit more even. Right now, Shivana comes up and kills the crocodile and makes some boots out of him. So there's a dead... Well, actually, no. The Gragas picks up the kill. So there's a dead Renekton. Though, fortunately for us, he's ended up taking another turn and sway the game a little bit more to our side. So, Trundle. If I was to be building offense, I'd be wanting to take uh, the... Gauntlet of the Iceborne, or whatever that thing is, uh, Frozen Fist. That thing is probably one of his best offensive items. Well, it also gives him more utility and whatever. His spam is the perfect cooldown and uh, to use it. So, every one of your bites now becomes an AoE damaging slow. And plus, Sheen is just flat out really strong on Trundle. And it's probably his most recommended offensive item, his basic offensive item. Otherwise, you know... If you can afford it, a turn to fours would actually make a big deal. Turn to fours to play the Rune King. But, again, he is pure melee, so it ends up being a kind of a weak thing. Like, there, the only way I could have gotten close enough to kill somebody was to flash over and bite them in the face, which it ended up costing my life, so it ended up not being actually worth it. Still, the game remains even. So, it's going to come down to one great team fight, and you'll see as you how... It will come down to one great team fight, and thankfully our team comp is ridiculously fat, and my ultimate is gonna make a big play as to how we win it, as long, as well as my wall. Fucking Trundle wall is so evil as long as you play, place it correctly, which in this case was not actually placed that well. So it actually helped uh, the Gragas. If it was done better, it would have forced him to escape a lot sooner, and he would have taken more damage. Though with that, we kind of are able to take another dragon. So. Eh. We go in for the enemy blue, and thus the enemy team is all around here. Shivana comes in, and it comes in, but I used my ultimate on Shivana, so I become ridiculously tanky, and I'm just draining the hell out of her health. The fight becomes uh, very scattered. 
you know, Rengar is jumping on top of the Thresh. I cut his damage in half. I kill. I hit the little baby fa uh, girl in the face, and Rengar gets blown up. Surprisingly, none of us die. I'm not surprised I didn't die. Trundle, one of the best things about Trundle is in an escalated fight, or a fight that is prolonged, any person that dies ends up giving Trundle more health. So... If you don't get killed in the initial burst and the enemy team starts losing members, you start getting health and you start becoming big again. This is what makes Trundle very good against fat tanky ch teams. Not only does he render their defenses worthless, their health, you know, his, but if they die, they end up just giving Trundle a big massive amount of health. He is very strong when it comes to that. Any fat ch I'll repeat that again, any fat champion dying just helps Trundle survive longer. If you can, if you for some reason find a, uh, find it uh, important to kill a fat champion as Trundle, then go do it, and it will increase your sustainability in a team fight. Here we just kind of you know dick around too much, and it ends up killing a few of us, namely Sivir. And now I'm just trying to keep Gragas from getting this blue and stealing it, so I constantly put my wall up to try to see if I can smite it. Anyhow, anyhow. If I was to justify picking Trundle, it would be right now against teams that rely on champions like Shivana, Dr. Mundo, Rengar, and hell, Riven though, uh, yeah, even Riven, early game Riven just gets melted by Trundle. Anybody who rely, anyone who doesn't have to buy offensive items early enough is going to get screwed by Trundle. One of his bites will just, one of his bites takes away around 10 at rank 1 and then 15 and it scales up there from there. So, if they're not buying anything, you essentially take away a long sword to a pickaxe from their... Anyways, hooray for Trundle. Hooray for it being a diamond game, because I owed him one for a long-ass time. Hooray for Trundle.